guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, guys, very exciting to. Hindi lang kayo ang excited ako rin. Kasi, guys, sobrang first impression na to. Alam ko, nakita nyo na sa vlog na nakita ko na siya in person. But, hindi ko naman siya totally tinignan and all that. Ang alam ko lang, apat yung camera niya. Ayan, may clue na kayo. Well, anyway, alam niyo na dahil sa title. Pero, alam ko lang, apat yung camera niya. And that's it. Wala. Sobrang clueless ko kung ano bang meron sa phone na to. And yes, you guys are right. I will be unboxing and giving a quick review on the newest Samsung Galaxy A9. The very first smartphone with quad-core camera. Wow, grabe. Padami ng padami yung camera na nauuso ngayon. Ano ba? This 2019 ba? Magiging lima na? Paramihan na ba ng camera ang labanan ngayon sa cellphone? And pansin ko guys ha, medyo, hindi pala medyo, may kamahalan itong phone na to. And hindi ko alam kung saan ko ba siya dapat i-place. Like, sa mid-range phone ba kasi hindi siya pang mid-range phone guys eh. And hindi ko rin naman alam kung dapat ko ba siyang ilagay sa flagship phone kasi hindi naman ganun ka flagship yung price niya pero all I can say is this phone is very expensive and as you guys seen from our last vlog yung genius vlog, tinignan natin itong Samsung Galaxy A9 at wala akong planong bilhin but then again since ang daming nagre-request nito I might as well give it a try, bigyan ng review kasi nakaka-curious talaga and ayoko nang tinitignan ko na lang siya sa mall, finally hawak na natin siya and yes guys it cost 32,990 And for an A-series, worth it ba? Malalaman natin yan, guys, mamaya. By the way, guys, this Samsung Galaxy A9 has three available colors. We have the Lemonade Blue. Ito yung itsura niya, guys. And then we have the Caviar Black. And ito rin yung itsura niya. And finally, we have the Bubblegum Pink. By the way, guys, basahin ko lang sa inyo yung kanyang spec sheet sa likod na nakalagay. A little overview lang sa phone. So what we have here is the Samsung Galaxy A9 with 128 gigabytes of internal storage and it has quad camera so meaning apat and then we have infinity display and it has 4g light with octa core processor and it also has 6 gig of ram so ayan malaki laki siya dapat lang kasi this is 32 So, ganito lang pala yung itsura ng box ng Samsung Galaxy A9, guys. We have the A9. Ang laki. And then, we have the phone. And then, ito yung parang pinaka-itsura ng harap niya. And then, of course, naka-sealed siya. And then, this is how the box looks. So what we have here is of course we have this small box and alam nyo guys, sa type pa lang nung box niya and with its packaging yung pagkakaayos, alam mo agad na mamahalan yung phone. Inside is we have of course muna yung SIM ejector pin, yung ating panundot and then a free jelly case guys and then we have the quick start guide and ayun lang, yun lang yung laman niya sa loob. And then may pag ganito tayo sa loob para siguro super protected yung phone. Then, yes, we have the phone itself. Before the phone, guys, let us first check the accessories. Siyempre, important yan. First, we have the charging brick. And yes, guys, this is a fast charger. Thank God. Pero, siyempre, dapat lang because this is so expensive. And then, we have a Samsung earphones. This is not AKG compared to the Note. <laughs> Then we have the charging cable. And this is a USB Type-C. Finally, syempre, dapat lang. Ayan, dapat lang. Puro, parang feeling ko guys, itong video na to, puro dapat lang yung sasabihin ko. Pero kasi, nakikita ko dito sa unboxing ko yung lahat ng hinahanap ko sa mga ina-unbox ko dati. Like, we have earphones, fast charger, and then the USB Type-C. Grabe guys, hindi ko pa natatanggal yung plastic. Gusto ko nang ipakita sa inyo agad-agad. Kasi ang ganda, grabe yung camera. O, oh, ang haba. Apat nga talaga. Pero alam nyo guys, with its camera setup, na apat yung camera niya, I feel like it is for photographers or yung mga taong mahilig mag-Instagram or not even Instagram. Like, basta mahilig ka mag-take ng pictures kasi hindi naman lahat ng tao eh, techie. Like, 
hindi lahat ng tao magagets kung para saan yung apat na camera at hindi lahat ng tao alam kung paano sila gamitin. Considering with the looks of the Samsung Galaxy A9 guys, hindi siya ganun kabago with the A series. Actually, halos lahat ng A series eh ganito naman yung itsura. And actually guys, medyo kahawig niya ngayon Samsung Galaxy A8 2018. So others might find this phone boring but ako guys, hindi ako nababored by just looking at it. Ayan guys, yung closer look with the phone. Ayan, i-appreciate nyo na. It's really beautiful. And the color even. Alam nyo guys, dalawa yung pinagpipilian ko. It's the lemonade blue and this color. Pero hindi ako nagsisisi na pinili ko to. It's very me. It's very feminine. Ang ganda, diba? If you guys remember, yung in-unbox nating Samsung Galaxy A7 na triple camera, yung fingerprint niya guys is wala sa likod, nasa gilid siya. And this time naman, itong A9, yung fingerprint niya is nasa likod. Ito siya guys. Before anything else guys, let me just give you a quick tour with this phone para ma-familiarize rin kayo. And also, I will be including kung anong ibig sabihin ng mga cameras niya. At the back of the Samsung Galaxy A9 2018, we have the four cameras. Starting from the top, we have the 8 megapixel f2.4 ultra wide camera with 120 degree fov and then next we have the 10 megapixel f2.4 telephoto with two times optical zoom then we have the 24 megapixel f1.7 main camera and lastly we have the 5 megapixel f2.2 depth camera for live focus. Now, if you guys are wondering kung para saan yung each camera, yung pinakaibabaw na merong wide angle camera is for landscapes and group photos. Next naman guys is the second camera which is the telephoto if you want to get up close to your subject or basically zoom in lang niya yung camera mo. Third camera guys is the main camera para naman yun kapag gusto nyong normal lang, yung gusto nyo lang mag-take ng photos, yung just the normal camera. Yun. If you want general shooting or if you want low light scenarios ito yung kailangan nyo, yung main camera. And then lastly guys, is the depth camera yung pinaka-ilalim. It's basically there para lang tulungan yung main camera nyo to adjust the focus. And then yes, we have here the LED flash and then the fingerprint scanner and then the Samsung logo lang. On the topmost part of this phone guys is we have the SIM card slot. Dito nyo ilalagay yung dalawang nano SIM nyo and the SD card. And then yes below guys we have the 3.5mm audio port and then the USB Type-C port and then the speaker grills. And then on the left side guys we have the dedicated Bixby button. Ito siya guys. Nung una akala ko ito yung power and lock button. So for Bixby pala siya. And then on the right side, of course, we have here the volume buttons and then the power and lock button. Okay guys, while the phone is taking time to turn on, let me just give you the quick specs para may idea rin kayo sa mga sinasabi ko and para makarelate na rin kayo. Samsung Galaxy A9 has 6.3 inch FHD Plus at 2220 by 1080 p It has Super AMOLED display at 392 ppi. It has 2.2 GHz quad core plus 1.8 GHz with 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of internal storage. And lastly, it has 3,800 mAh battery. So, meron pala tayo guys, face recognition and fingerprint scanner. Isi-set up lang muna natin siya. Wow! Tinanay ko guys yung kanyang face recognition and yung fingerprint scanner. Yes, it is very responsive. Hindi niya ako na-disappoint. Again, dapat lang. And hindi ko na kailang ipakita pa yun sa inyo guys kasi hindi naman yun yung gusto kong i-focus with this review. I wanna show you guys or I wanna test out yung kanyang camera. So, yun yung pinaka nakaka-curious talaga. So, doon tayo mag-focus. Ito yung tinatawag nila guys na wide angle camera. And then, this one naman guys, yung nasa kanan is yung optical zoom telephoto. May kita nyo naman na super zoom nung ating subject. Again guys, tatlo yung nakikita nyo dito. Ito siya. We have here the optical zoom telephoto. And then, we have here the main camera. And then, on the left side, we have here the wide angle camera. And then guys, for the live focus, ito siya yung katabi ng auto. I-click nyo lang yon. And then, what it does is, pwede mong i-adjust kung gano kalabo yung, yung likod niya. Like, for example, eto siya. Hindi masyadong blurry or 
wala talagang blurry and then if gusto mong i-adjust super blurry na nung pinaka background nung keratin Okay guys, so seeing this photos, papakita ko na lang sa inyo later on. Or even before this, baka nakita nyo na hindi ko alam kung saan ko ilalagay. But anyways, medyo disappointing lang siya. It is not as sharp as I expected it to be. Hindi siya ganun ka-detailed actually. And alam ko, in dirt to. Pero guys, I have enough light. And I think that's enough para lumabas yung dapat lumabas sa photos. And hindi ko na-achieve or hindi ko nakuha yun. Nakita nyo naman na guys yung itsura and I don't think nasiyahan ako. But then again, itatry ko pa siya tomorrow guys for outdoor photos and videos para talagang ma-justify natin kung okay ba yung camera niya. Kasi malay ba natin guys na apat, oo sabihin natin apat yung camera pero maganda ba? Diba? Quality over quantity. Always remember that. And guys, you can actually pala adjust the color and yung smoothness ng face mo. Kung gusto mo sobrang burado ng mukha mo, ganun, pwede mo siyang palitan. Hey guys, so I'm currently testing itong front video camera ng Samsung Galaxy A9. Guys, hindi ko masyadong nagugustuhan yung aking itsura. Because this is 24 megapixel front. And hindi okay yon Gusto ko kasi medyo sharp and medyo detailed yung itsura ng mukha ko. So, ayun. This phone has the Snapdragon 660 octa-core processor and okay naman siya guys. Responsive yung kanyang Face ID and fingerprint. Mabilis rin naman mag-launch yung mga apps every time na ino-open ko siya. And multitasking is also smooth when it comes to the gaming naman guys. It has a gaming feature called the Game Launcher na ino-optimize niya guys yung phone mo for a best performance when it comes to gaming. So I guess guys, we don't have any problems when it comes to PUBG Mobile with its high graphics, with its HD graphics, tapos mataas pa yung kanyang memory allotments. When it comes to battery naman guys, sabi nga natin kanina, it has 3,800 mAh battery life. And parang feeling ko sana ginawa na nilang 4,000 mAh para medyo mas maganda ang pakinggan. Diba? Parang mas okay siguro kung ganun yung ginawa nung Samsung. But anyways, okay naman yung 3,800. Parang matagal naman na yung mararating nun. And also, fast charging naman din siya. Kaya okay lang. Okay guys, so nandito na tayo sa end ng video natin. Masasagot na natin yung question if it is worth buying or not. Kasi this is 33,000 and hindi birong magsisi sa phone. Kasi alam niyo yun, yung value na makukuha mo tapos pag binenta mo, mas mura na. Alam mo yun, ang hassle and everything. Pero guys, for multimedia users like me who likes to take photos and watch Netflix Gusto ko manood with the big screen. Mahilig ako mag-YouTube. Alam nyo yan guys, siguro okay to. Ang laki ng screen niya. And also a good device for gaming. Now for the photography side with its four cameras, I must say na hindi ako masyadong na-impress. Katulad lang na kung paano ako hindi na-impress with the Samsung Galaxy A7 with its triple camera. Ganun na ganun lang din guys yung naramdaman ko with this phone. Pero guys, don't get me wrong. Okay naman siya for a daily use. Pero kung you're looking for a phone for photography, dahil nakarinig lang kayo ng four cameras and the very first smartphone with quad-core, ganito ganyan. Tapos parang ang ganda pakinggan. Tapos meron kayo nito Huwag kayo masyado magpapadala with that kind of advertising or marketing kasi marami pang mas okay na phones, guys, na may mas magandang camera. So, that's it for today's video, guys. Sana nag-enjoy like, kayo. Kahit pa paano, hindi naman ako masyado nagsisisi kasi may ibang features pa naman yung phone na pwede pa natin i-appreciate, hindi lang yung camera. So, ayun lang, guys. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell button. Bye everyone and see you on my next unboxing.